the lesson we can learn from all the annulments are granted is that if you're looking to get married, you do not want to be a member of that statistic 10 years or two years down the line. That's the main lesson. And why are those annulments granted without getting into the whole question of annulments is the church has decided or seen or judged that in one way or another the marital consent was not there. That one couple, one person or another in that marriage did not enter into marriage uh, assenting and consenting to all the things the Catholic Church sees as necessary in order to form a marriage. So that should mean that a, a spouse uh, or a, a man or a woman, young woman, young man who wants to get married should be very much aware why, what, what are the reasons for an annulment. And then ask themselves, am I emotionally secure? Am I going, entering into this marriage with the idea that it will be indissoluble? Am I entering into this marriage with the idea that we'll have children, that I will be open to life? Uh, is there anything in my spouse's past or, or background or perhaps in our family's backgrounds that might be something that could prevent either one or the other of us of uh, making a consent that is lasting. And not in a, we gotta be careful here, but marriage is the single most important decision that most people make in their life. It's certainly the last most important decision they make in their life, it, because their mate, their spouse for the rest of their years. So it's something that should be, you know, without being alarmed, it's very, it's looked at as very, very seriously. And that includes understanding that there are a lot of people by the tens or hundreds of thousands of people who are entering into marriages uh, that are not valid.